Hello, everyone. Hustler here. E money here. It looks like it's raining, and today we're still gonna go out thrift and garage sale. We're gonna try to. What's going on guys? Chris the Bonafide Hustler comes to you live from the inside of my spaceship and today we're traveling at zero space miles an hour. We are about to depart the Cheddar Station. Is that what it is? Sure, why not? The Cheddar Station, that's our that's our ISS name. All right, cool. So we'll take that. Um, yeah, we're about to get out there and uh, freaking try to crush it. You know, it's raining and it's gonna be nuts. Hey, what's up? Touch up paint. Okay, so um, we're gonna go down there. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get out there and, and get this cheddar, man, for real. It's gonna be awesome. You gotta throw some random dumbness in there, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're about to be at our first garage I think. No, it's kinda wild. Okay, well, never mind. But, yeah, um, I'll take anything on a day like this. I mean, I think we would all, we can kinda all agree here in the cheddar craft that it's just, you can't be picky on a day that it really kinda sucks, you know? You really can't polish a turd, but we're gonna attempt to like at least buff it out a little bit so we'll see what happens this is like the maelstrom that you get as you go into the wormhole what you like emerge on the other side it's like crystal clear what yeah that's what it feels like what yo check it out man this is the part of uh austin we're really close to my house but yeah i just get random tales Dang, so e -Money thinks the garage sale is way tucked in, like recessed in that house over there. He thinks he saw it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So, all right, guinea pig, let's do it, man. Come on. All right, I hope this is it. What was that gallop all about? That was weird. Dun, dun, dun. And now we wait. What is the deal here? This is not good. What? What's frustrating? She woke up and she said, I was thinking about having the garage sale, but then I saw that it was raining, so I didn't want to pull anything out. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, and then wow. she doesn't even really want Gosh, this is so stupid. But don't go to it, because it doesn't seem good. Oh, that sucks. All right, we're going to try to... All right, we're just going to try to... All right. Okay, now we're not as frustrated. We're looking for our second garage sale. The rain is like sporadic, it's really annoying, but there are definitely some items out here on this one. So I'm gonna try to park strategically. Yeah, so there's some stuff here. Ugh, I don't know. What'd you get, man, what'd you get? Uh, yeah, this is the exact same as what I just uh, What, what the hell is list. it, dude? No one cares if you just had it. It's, it's a mouse. It's okay, a mouse. no kidding, See? dude. What else is it? It's a trackball mouse. Okay, and? And I think, if my memory serves me correct, it's probably around 25 bucks. Okay, cool. And I spent two bucks on it. Okay, so it'll cut you 21.99, cut you 19 bucks or so. That's pretty good, not too bad, man. We're on our way, because this just keeps raining and stuff. We're gonna go to thrift stores and uh, just be in a general part of town that's much better um, than, yeah, this. So kind of a cool thing, you know, like one second ago, I got a notification on my eBay that a bag of all things, just kidding, bags are awesome. And, and if you guys aren't hustling bags, huge mistake. But anyways, one of my bags, I think I bought it for like four bucks. It was a uh, messenger bag. I won't say the brand or anything, but anyways, messenger bag, uh, four bucks, sold for $108. Like what? Crazy, so. Um, that was awesome. I kind of wish I was home so I could just go pick it up and send it off now. But anyways, bags, dude. If I get a chance and some, if I get a second to just maybe a week to build a bag guide for you guys, I'm down. Like, bags are just really awesome. Like you gotta find yourself in the bag section of a thrift store. This one that sold for 108 bucks was found at the Savers for like four dollars or so. That's crazy. We're really close to a Goodwill, and we we're like, oh, there's a garage sale close by. We'll we'll check it out. Oh, it's, it's what the yard sale treasure map said. It didn't say it, like it showed it to us, because if it started talking to us, that'd be like really creepy. But we go there and the person hasn't even opened the garage. I'm like, all right, that's it. We're done. We're done with garage sales today. That's it. It's off, it's off the radar. 
it, we cannot we cannot bring that one around anymore. So now we're gonna go to thrift store mode and possibly even pawn shop mode because I need to find another camera. This G7X has been really good for the $200 that I spent on it. It's lasted two, two and a half years. So yeah, this G7X like needs to be replaced. Um, I need to get another camera, which sucks, but I'm gonna wait it out and try to find one at a pawn shop. I'm not buying this thing full price because these are like $600 cameras and um, yeah, just, I'm not buying a $600 camera. Like, I'm just not, with the skills that I have, I could wait this thing out. Anyways, we're close to our thrift store, switching the modes, see if we can find anything good. Super frustrating. Yep. I wanna go gross. Anyway. What are you drinking? Uh, La Croix. Okay. Uh, say something, La do something funny in French. La Croix? Um, like something really funny and stupid. <laughs> what? With a French accent or just even oh, French shoot. words? Uh, What's up with this Goodwill? Is it not even open? It is open. All right, cool. Yeah. Let's go to this one. I can't. All right, do something stupid in French. Come on. We are half French. No one knows that, but we are actually half French. Did you know that about me? Probably not. Actual French, not Louisiana French either. My Real, like mon, the country France. Mon visage hurts. What? My face hurts. That's your that's your funny French thing. Yeah, it's my face. That's not even that. Mon, mon visage, mon visage. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. All right, it's hotter than a hotter than a what? You money. It's hotter than a than a rainy day in Austin. It's on a cold than... morning. I only like know one. What? It's hotter than a whore in church. That's the only hotter than one that I know. <laughs> that's so that's dumb. So dumb. I need to get more hotter jokes, dude. All right, so we gotta, I got a strip. <laughs> I got a magic mic it out of here, dude. Because I can't take it anymore. Oh, check it out. Cheddar weather, baby. Ooh, this is the large version. So, um, yeah, it's kind of gimbery-ish a little bit right here. A little, a little tight, but whatever. Grab a cart. Grab a cart? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's the see. store is ours. The oh. store is ours. What are the chances that this card's gonna be perfect? Uh, it's gonna be okay. What do you think, like 20%? Uh, 60. 60% 60 this is a perfect card? 60. Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Alright, so. Oh, man. Go inside the store, let's see. Could be a perfect card. Here, the small thing doesn't matter. When you're a reseller, you notice like some really, really small things. It's pretty good. You know Bone Pie's gonna check out the bag section. Wakeboards, no thanks. Okay. I was here like the other day, so I don't expect to find anything. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna try to get a little bit better at is these uh, Victoria's Secret Love pink bags, or just pink bags, even though it's not pink, but that's just what the thing is called. All right, I didn't find anything in there. I just, I uh, did some spot research, on the spot research on some uh, Love pink Victoria's Secret bags, and that one right there was not profitable, so I didn't pick it up, so. Where are my keys, where are my keys, where are my keys, where are my keys? Check out the vans. It's a rainy day, so we're, I'm wearing my worst pair. There they are. So, some exciting news. I'm gonna get my hair cut today. Oh my gosh, like, kind of freaks me out because I've spent so long kind of growing it, and just any amount of trimming it um, kind of freaks me out, you know? I kind of just want to get it long, you know? But uh, apparently they call it shaping, so. One finds going to a hairdresser. A hairdresser? I got a hairdresser, guys. <laughs> Can I join in? Can I party with you guys? Can I party with you guys? E money, come on. Yo. What'd you get? FDA stuff? FDA stuff. So a puzzle and a rum a cub or uh, a rum a cub? Yeah. Uh, rum -a -cub. What like, is that? How do you say that? Rum a cub, I guess. Rum a cub? I don't even know. I haven't played it. Never seen it. What'd but. you spend? Like, how much is all this stuff? $7.77. Alright, and then what do you think I'm gonna get for it? Probably $25. Alright, cool. Maybe more? Good enough, man. Looking for new stuff as well, aren't yeah. we? Mm -hmm. Alright, it's dopio time. You're in the days? Are you in the days? <clears throat> Got our dopeo, look at that. Yo, get it, get it, get it. Come on, this dopeo does smell pretty good. Okay, dopeo time. Oh, eat money, get in the picture, dude. Yeah. All right, cheers, cheers to an amazing hustling day. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, dude. Ah! 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 Oh my gosh. Five out dopio in my book today. We haven't had a five out dopio in a long time on this channel. Ah, mine only goes up to four. I don't, I don't do a five. Five out dopio scale, baby. The hell? Oh, oh, anyway. It's a dog. Mm. Oh, that dog. Super good. Dude, I am on like five and a half hours of sleep. Last <laughs> night, I wouldn't say we partied, but we hang, hung out at a friend's house, bonfire kind of thing, mm -hmm. had Bloody Marys and all sorts of foods that I probably shouldn't be eating, but I'm also in a bulk and I'm like going to be out of my bulking mm -hmm. stage in about two days or so. I'm going to slowly reshift everything around. And I'm going to be in the, I'm going to bring the most amazing physique to the table uh, this year. It's going to be freaking cool. So if you want to check out that journey, go check out my bod damn channel. Dude, I'm not done with my dopio. Oh. You just slammed your dope. You slammed your cup into my dopio, dude. What the hell, bro? You dickwad. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you, you see the dick. little ring. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, yeah, if you yeah, want to go check right. out uh, the progress of that whole thing, there's going to be a lot of content coming up really, really, really soon. I'm uh, working on some infrastructure in the background, but the Bod Damn channel is where it's at. So, guys, if you're, you know, wanted to build some lean muscle and lose fat and all that kind of stuff, <sighs> um, Please go follow my other channel, Bod Dam, on YouTube and start watching some of those videos. My last bulk, my last bulk, I got up to 208 pounds where my like super lean, like, how do I say it? Summer body was around 192. This year, I went on a little bit uh, different kind of bulk and uh, I got to about 204. So I think next year, I don't think I'm gonna bulk at all. I'm just gonna keep a really good physique the whole year, which is hard to do though, but anyway. Bulking is fun. You get to eat whatever you want for the most part. And um, you get a lot of, there's a lot of surplus going on. There's a lot of surplus calories, so. Okay, I'm distracted. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get out of here. Does it get much better than this, E-Money? Does it get much better than this, E-Money? I used to think that the best part of that, that whole entire show is them putting on the helmets. Oh, dude. You know? Oh, with all the, like, the, the yeah. graphic stuff comes up? Yeah. Dude. That's like way pre-Minority Report. Like, it was yeah. just so good. Anyways, 80s babies, baby. We're having like the best laughs ever. We're watching actually some retro <laughs> stuff. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember it being that funny at all. I know, we're watching some retro sledgehammer clips. Anyway, um, we're at a Goodwill right here. If you're looking at me and you're going like, dude, Bonafide, you look tired, I've had five hours of sleep, so I am kind of tired. We but are tired. This dopio is really bringing it around pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I have trouble with Saturday mornings in garage sales. It's just, I get really excited about them. And I tend to, when a Friday comes along, I'm like, oh, finally the weekend, and I can get off my sleep schedule for a while, so instead of going to bed at a reasonable time, I always push it back a couple hours, just like probably everybody out there, except the next morning, which is garage sale morning, we have to wake up at like six or something like that, and it sucks, man, it's so, so. It's a downer when you don't really get the garage sale, though. I know, that's a downer, and it's a downer like having five hours of sleep. But, you know, I still try to power through Saturdays, and I still get my mountain bike rides in and all this kind of stuff, but it's like I'm kind of, not subpar, it's just, you know how you just feel like you're just not with it, but I'm still convincing my mind I'm with it. So, anyways, that's what's going on right now. This Goodwill right here is on South Lamar in Austin, Texas, Ooh. and it's actually a pretty good Goodwill. Do you want this on your bike rack? What? I don't want some sticker. freaking random dopio stickers. Oh, dude, Bump. you totally messed it up. No, I really don't want that sticker. I heard it tear. Well, there's another one. Under Why are you tearing? What are you doing? Dude, I'm going to put one of these on my bike rack. Ooh. Mm. Anyway, oh. all right. Oh, good job. Anyway, so let's get in this garage still. Huh, Wait, okay, let's get in this thrift store. Oh, dude, bro. Diaper on the ground. Oh my god. That better not be a premonition of how the rest of the day is gonna go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> that thing's so destroyed. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, bro. Look at this. Look at this wheel. Look at the wheel on this cart, dude. Are you out of your mind? 
This thing is, this, dude, this wheel on this cart looks like a Sesame Street character. Look at this, with its like ears on the side. All right. Dude, this thing's got Fraggle Rock freaking wheel. Look at this Fraggle Rock wheel right here. That's funny. All right, didn't get, didn't get anything. Walking out empty handed. We got Savers in another thrift store, pawn store. Stuff down the road. I still remain optimistic. Savers it is. Make that money. Place is good. 30% off coupon I could use, but maybe not. There's a brand new G-Shock chilling right there. Found a Starbucks mug or a Starbucks cup. What the hell is this crap? Ew. What the hell is this? Oh, crochet. Yuck. Yuck. Uh, how does the dance go on this song? Dude, we're getting rickrolled in savers. How does this, how does the dance go? I don't know. I think this is definitely a premonition of the day. We're getting rickrolled in this freaking savers, dude. What? <laughs> Guess what? What movie, Emerson? What does this remind you of? No way. <laughs> short circuit? No. Oh, yeah, kind of short circuit. What does it remind you of? What, E.T.? Yeah, it's E.T., dude. Look, it's E.T. <laughs> there you go. Clearly. Okay, we didn't find anything at Savers. Yeah, this day's going south. You know, the thing is, I am actually finding things at thrift stores, but because of my recent strategy, I'm not picking it up now. But there are plenty of things that I'm passing on that I can make 20 to 30 bucks on, and I'm just not doing it because um, my whole philosophy is, you know, to really have smart inventory now and not really bend the rules because it's, it's gonna be easy to get back to normal or the normal way where I just wanted 20 or 25 pure profit on everything and I could, I could pull stuff, you know, I could pull the trigger on those kind of items all day long. That doesn't solve what I want. What I want is $50 profit on items and, you know, one to two selling a day. I want to get to two selling, two, you know, items selling a day or even one, you know, that yields me 100 in pure profit or two items that yield me $50 in profit a day times 30 days in a month and that's two or three grand in pure profit and that's what, what I'm really, really searching for is that kind of mentality. So we're gonna see if I can hold to that and I've been holding to it, which is good. Anytime that you can actually develop a habit and hold you know, that habit, you, you automatically win. So in the long run, I'm looking at this down the road, you know? All right, so we're at a pawn shop right here in Austin, Texas. This is uh, now on Ben White Boulevard. We're gonna check this place out. You know, back in the day, I used to pull trigger on. I used to pull the trigger on so many bikes in this place and random stuff. Pawn stores are good, especially on rainy days. Remember this pawn store? We've been to this before, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I have definitely, definitely had some good success with this one. Not saying it's gonna happen today, but after this, we go to another thrift store. After that, it's taco time. So let's go check it out. Maybe I can make some money today. Definitely gonna go check out those bikes first though. That looks that looks interesting. The thing about pawn stores is I really don't like you filming in these places. It's really hard to film. So I'll do the best I can. What you got, man? Anything good? Anything out of the ordinary? There's a Sunday 24. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. How much is a Sunday 24? It's probably like 300 or so. My guess. 175? No, it's on September or something, it's 175. Which would be worth it then? It could be worth it now, I don't know. Right now it's no, 350. 350? Yeah. If that dude sells this thing to me for 200 bucks, I'd buy this today. We'll see. Never know. It's actually going to have you uh, do it on that little keypad up there. Cool, man. I did pop on something here. A Nixon 5130 watch right here. Yeah, bring it in. Let's see it. I suspect, I suspect that it needs a new battery, which I know how to install those and everything. I might even have it at home. But yeah, 5130 in used condition. I would estimate like 100 to 150. Bought it for 22 bucks. Yeah, so a 5130, you know, it's a pretty awesome watch. One of the biggest watches that Nixon makes, if not the biggest. And there it is, white face. Perfect condition. I mean, it. it I think, I suspect it just needs a brand new battery. And it's going to work perfect. So 100, 150 bucks retail. I believe that's right about right. We'll see. Another pawn shop right here. We're going to go to this one. I'm not going to take the camera in with this one because there's on this store, there's usually like four staff and I can see there's nobody in the store. So they would be totally hawking uh, me filming in there. So I'm going to uh, check it out. I already see a full suspension GT mountain bike, which is interesting. It's in the lineup over there. Uh, it's one of the older ones, definitely a 26er, I think. But there's definitely a mountain bike sitting right there that I need to go look at. So I'll let you know if I find anything here. Okay, got out of that uh, pawn shop. Decided to pop on this Saito motor right here for 30 bucks and uh, pretty good condition. This is a aircraft RC uh, nitro motor, right? And so gonna see if I can get about 80 to 100 on this. All right, sweet. Five bucks, 
got What's some free, sell for? free batteries. I actually just found the exact listing. So this one was like 570 and the listing is used. 7259, yeah, nice. That was right, a good cool. one. All right, so this one right here, um, about 80, if I, in best case scenario, probably 120 or something like that. So 30 bucks, uh, 8 to 120, that's that's this. It does have the muffler on it and everything, so we'll see. That's what I can do. Last uh, thrift store is actually in this corner. I wanna say it's like Thrift Town or something like that. I haven't been here in forever, probably a year or two. And uh, the funny thing is, I, I remembered it now because a subscriber of mine, like on a video, commented, hey, like I saw you live in Austin, you should go see Thrift Town again. And I was like, wow, I totally used to go there like all the time. Oh, man. In fact, I used to go here back Never. in the day when there used to be a Goodwill over there. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Do you remember that. those days? They just hit up both, like yeah. back to back. And they were like back to back. So anyways, here's Thrift Town right here. They have a really weird, from what I remember, yeah. there was a weird color <laughs> system here that it's like really hard to understand sometimes. So, um, Gonna go check this place out. I'll bring the camera in with me on this one. Super close to these cars, but let's go check it out. Definitely. It smells like egg rolls in here, man. It does. That's freaking great. Yeah, I remember, from what I remember, like all the cool stuff's in the corner over here. Dude, you almost got clogged by that thing. Holy crap. What do we got? Oh, snowboarding helmets, nothing crazy. Not a good one. Bags. What is that? Oh, this is cool. This is a little mini system. These are kind of worth some good money sometimes. But usually they never work perfect. There's also really good clothing, so I'm gonna check that out here. Old ass jacket. Well, we're gonna call it a day right here. I actually have to go uh, get tacos and I have to pick up a pair of speakers. Uh, personal use, actually. So, the speakers I'm picking up are actually called Rev 8s. Um, they are extremely expensive uh, wakeboard boat speakers, and so the plan is to buy those, take my speakers off the top of our boat, and then sell those on Craigslist for the same price that I'm buying these Rev 8s for, thus being a wash, but the Rev 8 speakers are like the top of the top boat speaker that you can put on the tower, you know? So, i um, definitely going to get my hands on these things. They're dirt cheap. I don't understand what's going on. I have a receiver in my truck right now to, to test them out with speaker wire and everything so i'm gonna test this thing out and see what happens i mean maybe maybe it'll work we'll see all right taco deli here we are i'm gonna take you guys down to when i buy those rev eights every day like today is like getting an inside table very important what's up man Woo! hey good to see you, good to see you dude. good full, full crowd y'all just the line just died good the chippies and waiting on our tacos we got emerson's girlfriend rachel in the house what's up Thank you. I'm hungry. I'm starving. So we're gonna eat this food up. So I got refried black beans, jack cheese, eggs, and there's an avocado I think under there somewhere. It should be. Oh no, avocado. I have to turn it back, but it's not a big deal. Anyways, and we have some akagushi beef, beef with some jack cheese. This, this is the good stuff right here. There's the salsas and snap. I just got my avocado on there. This is gonna be good. I got my tacos, and actually I came outside and I saw a rare sight, dude. An actual eagle here in Austin, Texas. And there's an eagle here, dude. Yes, this is the eagle. There you go. Go check out his uh, Eagle Eyes Nation channel, right? Are you putting stuff? Are you still uploading stuff on there every now and then? Every now and then. All right. So this is Q right here. This is Q from Austin, Texas. Good to see you, man. He's in the green room as well. That's Marco, hey. Austin, Texas. I've I met you a year and a half ago or something at the garage sale. Anyways, so yeah, these guys are uh, I see them every now and then. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick up this speaker here in a second, but I just didn't want to shout them out. Eagle Eyes Nation. That's his YouTube channel. I'll put it down below. Actually, I'll put it right here on the screen. All right. Okay. So I'm actually like basically in farmlands of Manor, Texas, which is about. 30 to 40 minutes from my house. And it's just looking like this. You know, there's some rolling hills here. That's interesting. And these roads are just really bumpy and everything. So I guess the person lives out here and this is where I'm gonna be getting, this is where I'm gonna be getting the speakers from. So hopefully if everything goes right, I should be able to test them right here on site. I mean, they are a great deal. So even if they didn't work, it would still be worth it in, it would be worth it regardless. But I mean, I want them to work clearly. Some really interesting pieces of land here. And man, this person has like a gated kind of thing going on. Huge, what, one, two, maybe five acres of land. Pretty awesome. I guess that's who I'm going to be buying from, that gentleman right there. I'm done with the deal. Paid him the money. And the crazy part is it's actually for four of them, not even a pair. So there are two back there. They're just chilling. And then there's another two. 
Holy crap. So I have four Rev 8s for 150 bucks. That's insane. Four. Four. Holy crap. They're called Wet Sounds Rev 8s. Wow. I cannot believe it. I actually think there's a hawk or an eagle right there flying away. I can't believe that deal because when I walked up there, I walked up there and I saw four speakers on the ground. And mind you, each one, each two of these on Amazon, brand new of course, are $1,200, $1,200 for two of these speakers. So I got four of them for 150 bucks. I'm gonna make money on this deal. In fact, this is probably gonna be like the best part of the day for me, but um, I'm gonna sell two of them. I mean, I could put all four on my boat, I guess, but uh, I don't think I really need to. I just can't believe it, that deal. Like that just blows my mind. It doesn't make any, a bit of sense. Now, okay, they are used, right? And they've, you know, they're marine grade speakers, so they're extremely resilient to water and ru rust and all that kind of stuff. Test them though. I did not test them because it's gonna take a little bit more wire splicing than I'm used to doing right on there on the spot, but uh, still, great freaking deal. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So yeah, it wasn't the worst day ever, you know, picking up those speakers at the end of the day. Where it was pretty cool. But uh, anyways, don't forget to hit the like button. It was really fun filming this ride along. Hope you enjoyed it. And leave a comment down below. I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye! <laughs>